So here today we're going to show how to use one of our electronic balances and you notice that we have a dark screen. Here it says on, so we're going to push that. You must wait. This does have electronics in it. It's running through a little warm up, a system setup, just like your computer would. When it says zero, 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 you're ready to go. Now, you never put chemicals directly on a balance because it can contaminate it. It'll the chemicals, it could ruin the, chem the metal in the balance. So there are these things called weighing boats. They come in different sizes and different shapes. This one would hold quite a bit. This one looks more like the named boat. You can even use any sort of plastic or glass container. A beaker can be used as a weighing boat, but you never put the chemical directly on there. Now, how do you know how much you have if you put this on there first? because the weighing boat is going to have a mass. You see that this has a mass of 2.39 grams. Well, maybe I want to know how much just my chemical is. The word zero here means you can zero this out and the electronics will ignore the weighing boat you already have on. So if I push that, you notice my mass goes to zero and I can put whatever my substance is directly on there and when it comes to a stop and a steady reading, 7.42 grams, that's how much substance I have, not how much substance plus the weighing boat. So if you're doing single trials, this is very handy, but if you're going to try to be efficient and do multiple trials, you are going to have to know what the mass of this is because not all weighing boats have exactly the same mass. You cannot assume they all have the same mass. And if I take this off, that's the mass of the weighing boat originally. Okay, Now, the weighing boats also have a nifty function of being able to fold so that you can then pour into narrow things if you need to. Okay, Notice I squish it and I can get that to go back in the container without a mess. Alright, so that's how to use the tear function. Some balances do say tear, others say zero. The technical term is tear, T-A-R-E, not tear a piece of paper. All right, when you are finished, always hold that button so that it says off and you're not wasting electricity. It will turn itself off, but be good students and turn them off when you're done.